Over the course of this module, we've talked a lot about details associated with the financial statement and financial management ratio analysis and all of this. But it's all for a purpose, and that is to build financial integrity, not just in a company, but in the overall business or economic system. The recent financial crisis provided an example, that is in 2008, 2009, um, gave us, provided lots of examples of how poor compliance with accounting practices can cause problems, uh, can cause the system to lose trust in the investments and therefore people become less willing to extend credit and the like. Many firms attempted to exploit different kinds of loopholes um, and other institutions and other uh, possible uh, manipulations of accounting. For example, what's called uh, off balance sheet investments. If you're a minority investor, there are situations where you don't have to consolidate all the assets onto your balance sheet. So it's easy to, you know, it was, became possible to manipulate your ratios by not having the al assets showing up on your balance sheet. Uh, banks and other financial institutions often held their assets in this way as ways to improve the appearance of what their uh, financial ratios and so therefore their um, their coverage ratios and the like from a from a debt perspective uh, uh, looked like transparency and accuracy in reporting revenue and income and assets is what's important to develop trust for investors and other stakeholders so on the one hand you have a situation a recent example of some challenges but on the other hand Strong compliance to accounting principles creates that trust among investors, among financial institutions, and those organizations that rely on those institutions for their financing. Um, less overhead, uh, more access to funds, higher willingness to lend because lenders feel because of transparency, they understand what's going on within the organizations and they can understand how decision makers are making use of their funds. Accounting and financial planning is important to all organizations, whether they're business organizations, nonprofits, or even governmental institutions. It's important to realize that when you have information that's clearly documented and recorded in a language that is known by, by other people in organizations and is also certified by an outside organization that has public responsibilities, you have clear transparency that makes the, the, the uh, less friction in the organization, more trust in transactions, and better returns to investment, so investors overall. Those are some of the important reasons why, even though this accounting information can seem arcane and tedious, sometimes it's important to realize that you're also trying to make the system clear and transparent to all the participants so that the system itself can be trusted and respected, the overall system. So let's turn now some, to some discussion points that we'll have. Uh, we can have a discussion on Moodle. Uh, talk, for example, about why accountants are important to a corporation, what they do internally, that is the private accountants, but also the public accountants. Describe the, the, the accounting process itself and the cycle. Talk about the income statement of all organizations. Um, for example, the income statements are always in the same format. Is that true or false? And lastly, why are debt ratios important in assessing the risk of the firm? i uh, get some examples of that. So let's just have this discussion on Moodle and uh, we'll see you there. See you in the next module.